Good morning, everyone. So I am back with another what I eat in a day. You guys seem to really enjoy these videos. So I'm doing another one because every day I eat different stuff. So I could make honestly like a million of these. So right now it's like 11-ish and I'm going to make some breakfast because I know, ignore my huge pimple. But because fall is right around the corner, yay, I'm going to make a pumpkin waffle. Let me show you guys my waffle maker collection. I have, I have a problem. So I have a gingerbread, I have a bunny, that one is so cute. I have a regular one that's leopard print. I have another regular one that's pink. I have a honeycomb. And then I have a heart for Valentine's Day, and then an orange pumpkin, and a snowflake for winter. I haven't used this one since last year. I love bringing them out for the holidays. Honestly, it's just so cute. And they're mini, and they cook super quick. And what I like about having like multiple of them is if I were to make them for you know, more than one person, I can have more than one waffle maker going at the same time. So I can have like one pumpkin, and like two original waffles. So here is this one. Honestly, it looks like this one I never used. Cause I would have definitely thrown this out like I'm about to do right now. <laughs> All right, putting it in. We'll do, is that enough? Maybe a little bit more. It's always hard to tell when you do the first one how much you're supposed to put in. And you close it. Let's check on the waffle. Yum. Okay, pancake mix worked so good. And then when we flip it, we can see the pumpkin. Pumpkin. What is your guys' favorite breakfast place? I used to go to IHOP all the time with my friends because IHOP was open like 24 hours a day, which was like the only place open. So then at night, like after football games or something, we would go to IHOP. So at like 10, 11 o'clock at night, and when you're like younger, that is like so fun, like something to do. Honestly, it'd still be fun now. But yeah, IHOP was always open 24 seven, and Steak and Shake. I feel like that's like it. I wanna try and make just like a perfect pumpkin shape instead of like the full circle. Let's see if it works. Little pumpkin, oh cute. And now of course, the pancake waffles. They're basically pancakes, just shaped like a pumpkin. And I'm going to wash these blueberries and have some blueberries on the side. And lastly, some syrup. And I use the butter flavor and the light. Look at the pumpkin. Okay, let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Why does that taste so good? So they are a little bit thicker. And a waffle's more like airy, I guess. Like fluffy. And these are thicker using the pancake mix. But honestly, they taste just as good. I'm telling you guys. That butter syrup is delicious. And it tastes like better than regular syrup. Mm. That is my first meal of the day. Three mini waffles. They remind me of like Eggo waffles because they're really small. <laughs> and some blueberries, which these are really good. And I'll get back to you guys next time I eat. Hi guys. It is now lunchtime and I have been laying out tanning. And holy cow, is it hot. It is so hot. It's like 90 degrees, the UV is at like eight or nine, and I am eating a salad. Almost forgot to film it, but here's my salad. It is a Chick-fil-A Southwest spicy salad. Oh my gosh, it is the best salad ever. If you guys saw my eating Chick-fil-A for 24 hours video, that was my first time ever trying that salad, and I loved it. It is so good. I ate all the chicken off of it. Kind of getting full, but I'm gonna Still nibble on it a bit. Those salads are huge. And then I'm also just drinking water like usual. Well, I didn't stay outside for too long. I came in and edited a bunch because it was too hot. It was simply too hot. I'm gonna sit on the couch and do some emails while I snack. 
on an apple with peanut butter. I bought apples at the store, which I never buy apples, but I was like, they look good, and I need to switch up my snacks. So I cut up one apple and squeezed some peanut butter in this cute little cup. This bowl is from Home Goods. I love it. I also have a striped one and one other one, but I have not been able to find them ever since I bought them. I only have three and I would have like bought like a couple more because I love them, but I've never seen them again. So sometimes I like eating apples just with cinnamon on them or caramel, but today I wanted to do peanut butter. Sounds refreshing too. Mmm. Okay, yeah, this is really good. I had an apple the other day. I need to rebraid my hair. My hair never stays in ponytails or braids. Um, I had an apple the other day and I just sprinkled cinnamon on the apples and ate it like that. Ooh, and then dip it in honey. That sounds really good. I love honey. I want to try that. I need to remember that because I will most likely forget. But the peanut butter, oh, this is like better. Mmm. I am back now on my computer editing for a little bit. And I don't know why I'm still in my bathing suit. But and whenever I'm on my computer, I love having a snack. It's like a really bad habit that whenever I'm on my computer, I like to have a snack. The other day, I was eating salt and vinegar chips just straight out of the bag. And I couldn't stop. And I wasn't even hungry. I just wanted to eat a snack while I was editing. Threw it on the floor. And then I have Peppa Pig cookies right there. But... Right now, I'm just having a small little Laughing Cow Cheese. This is the garlic and herb flavor. I love it. It is super garlicky. And I'm having it with these garlic non crackers um, from Trader Joe's. I'll show you guys the box right here. The camera is standing on top of the box. So this is like such a yummy snack. And it makes me just happy because it's like a healthy snack my type of healthy you know like i always say it's better than a big mac but yeah i love eating healthy snacks because then you can eat a bunch of them and they taste good and these crackers are garlic mm, i love garlic so i'm just eating this as i work on my facebook page just finished making my header I think it's really cute. Here is my Facebook page. Go give it a like, guys. I now will be posting some of my TikToks and reposting stuff on here. Well, I did my makeup and finished up a little bit more editing. And I am going to make myself a little bit of pasta because I have been literally craving it. Honestly, that's all I crave. Anyone else, like, it's just so good. And I... Like, even if it's just simple with just, like, marinara sauce. I'm like, I love it. So, I have been really liking this bonza pasta. It's, like, made from chickpeas. I saw it on TikTok, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get it and try it out. Got on my cute sweatshirt because you guys literally, I don't know what it is. But I am always so cold. I have to always wear a sweatshirt inside. And I keep my house like 72, even though I want to turn it up to like 75. But I know like that's like too hot for a home and it's going to get like literally like moldy in here. But like I am just a freeze baby. Literally. So I'm going to boil some water. And I'm just making like a simple pasta. Um, I always, I always do this. It's like nothing literally crazy at all. Is this camera zoomed in? It's literally just like canned sauce, but I'm literally perfectly fine with it. I do have some heavy whipping cream open that I could use before it goes bad. Maybe I'll add some of that in there too to make it more creamy. And then I have mozzarella, and then I will just add just a tad bit of minced garlic, maybe some seasoning, and that's it. Like very simple, but I love it. Like, I am not picky anything with sauce and cheese. Sorry about these angles. I don't know why my camera seems so zoomed in. Here's the information on this box, if any of you guys care. I got it at Target. Okay, so my water's boiling. Wow, this is like a 
a good angle here. I never put my camera on the toaster before. So I'm gonna make just like a little bowl because honestly, I ate so many of those crackers and hummus earlier. I'm honestly not even like super, super hungry right now. It's like nine o'clock, but we're still eating because you gotta eat and I'm still in the mood for pasta, so. This pasta cooks super quick and it like blows up and gets like really big. So I'm using some ragu traditional um, pasta sauce. Marinara, I don't know what you call it, it's just red sauce. So we're doing some of that. And then we're gonna do, ragu is my favorite too. Whenever I used to eat Bosco sticks, which was all the time, honestly still do that because I love them. I dip it in marinara and when I lived at home, my mom made me one at one time and gave me a different type of marinara and uh, I knew right away. I was like, what is this stuff? It tasted so weird. She's like, I bought a different marinara sauce. I was like, ew, I hate it. It's crazy how like your taste buds, you just know. And then another time, I was looking for marinara. My mom was like, oh, there's some in the jar in the fridge. And I went to get it. And I dipped my Bosco stick once again in the jar of sauce, like a big dunk, because I thought it was marinara. It's so excited, you know? When you think something is something and then you bite it and eat it and it's something else, it tastes so much worse. It was salsa. It was salsa. I did my Bosco stick in salsa and it tasted so bad. And it was just such a wonky, like I was eating it, I'm like, what is this? She's like, what are you talking about? It's marinara. And I'm like, this is not marinara, what is this? She's like, you're crazy. She's like, oh, that's the salsa. <laughs> that's the craziest thing, like when you think you're drinking something or eating something and it's not that. Like same in like with salt and vinegar chips, if you think it's like an original salt and vinegar, or if you think it's an original chip and you eat it and it's salt and vinegar, like the flavor just like hits you in the face. It's like, whoa, holy cow. That is crazy. Okay, a little bit of minced garlic. Added the heavy cream. Just use the back of this, just a little dash. We don't wanna to be too garlicky tonight, you know what I'm saying? a little dash mix it in get that cooking Ooh, the color of the sauce right here can you guys see it on my spatula looks like vodka sauce mozzarella we'll do that last actually let's add some red pepper flakes and i feel like that's good enough and some mozzarella And that will give us just a simple, quick, yummy sauce. Okay, drained my pasta. Going to add it into the sauce. And let's mix her up. Like, doesn't this look good? Add a little parsley on top and it looks like bougie. No one would know. How would they know? <laughs> this looks good. I've never added the heavy whipping cream in with this like recipe. Sometimes I do this with marinara and um, Alfredo. But the heavy whipping cream will probably kind of make it taste similar a little bit. Okay, let's add it to a bowl. In love with these cute bowls I got on Amazon. They're Kate Spade. They are so cute and so nice. I can link them down below if you guys want. They had so many different ones. But let's put it, oh this almost looks like macaroni glop. If you guys know that recipe, it's on my meal page on Instagram, Steph's Meals. This looks just like macaroni glop, or hamburger helper if you guys know that. And a few red pepper flakes 
on top and a dash of parsley because I'm a foodie and I love taking pictures of all my food so I I really enjoy making it look like pretty <laughs> honestly I might need more mozzarella but I did add like a decent amount in there so it should be good let's try our pasta look how gorgeous it looks look at it yum okay let's try Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's spicy. Mmm. I tell ya. It's good every time. You can never mess up pasta. Mmm. It is cheesy. What was I talking about? And so saucy. Look at all the cheese. Thought I needed more cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. While I'm eating, I'm gonna clean this pan before it gets all stuck. And this right here is Steph's easy pasta recipe. Literally. I feel like everyone has all these ingredients at home. And it's just so easy. Mm. Oh guys. You can't even taste that this pasta is made with chickpeas. Like, it literally tastes regular. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and want to see more of what I eat in a day, just let me know down below. And by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe, also click my notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.